overturned the decision by the National Assembly's Land Committee, chaired by Kitui South Member of Parliament Rachel Nyamai, to reject the approval of former Isiolo woman representative uh, Tai uh, Galgalo, pardon me, on account of presenting a fake tax clearance certificate. Now, this is after an amendment was presented by Isiolo North Member of Parliament Hassan Oda to approve the nomination of Tia Galgalo. Already, a letter had been presented by Kenya Revenue Authority to clear his tax compliance issue. Now, let's take a look at this report by Irene Mwangi including one by private notice. A heated seat it was today at the National Assembly Chambers during the approval of the report by National Assembly Committee on Lands on the approval of the commissioners nominated by President Uru Kenyatta to be at the helm of the National Lands Commission. You have the numbers. The contention being the rejection of Tia Galgalo as a commissioner at the Lands Commission following revelation by Kenya Revenue Authority Commissioner General James Mburu that Galgalo is tax non-compliant, revealing she has not filed returns for the year 2017 and 2018. With respect to the tax compliance certificate submitted to the committee by the Honorable Tia Galgalo Ali, PIN number a 00186447 g the committee noted that the Kenya Revenue Authority had submitted a further report via the letter uh, reference number KRA M and CF SEEM 19 stroke 11 dated 25th of September 2019. The document is Honorable Speaker annexed in the committee report which stated that at that time, Honorable Speaker, the tax compliance issue to the Honorable Tia Galgalo Ali on the 23rd of October 2018 was withdrawn for having been irregularly issued. KRA also issued, indicated that it was pursuing an internal disciplinary action on the officer who issued the certificate. The shocking turn of events would be that the same Kenya Revenue Authority would later present a letter to the clerk of National Assembly today morning clarifying that the former Isiolo women representative Tai Galgalo was tax compliant. Isiolo North Member of Parliament has an order using the letter as a footstool to propose an amendment to the motion by the Lands Committee to approve the nomination of Galgalo over that letter. I represent a constituency where Honra Botia comes from. I must state this, and I can confirm to this House that I followed deliberation of Lands Committee when they were vetting all the nine nominees. Uh, as, and I'm, and I, am, I can confidently say that the issues raised against uh, Honra Botia related to tax compliance. It had nothing to do with tax evasion. It had to do with failure to file tax returns which is not a criminal offense. Once the KRA discovers that you have not filed your returns, you are allowed to file it, your books of accounts are audited, are assessed, and the KRA has the sole authority to determine whether somebody is compliant or not. Further, it had emerged that several members of parliament in the committee, a majority from the coastal region, had rejected approval of Kazungu Kambi over his alleged involvement in a questionable bank loan that was charged on the title of Guriyama Ranch in Kilifi County. On the aspect of uh, academic qualifications, the academic qualifications presented to the committee by the Honorable Kazungu Kambi are such that you cannot really vouch for the fact that uh, someone like Zungu Kambi had an opportunity to obtain a degree honor members, from honor members. the university. Now this one. Why are you so agitated? Please, honor members, just relax. Relax. The House was brought to a division to vote for the amendment of the report by Isiolo North Member of Parliament has an order with 114 voting for the amendment while 70 rejecting it. This being a reprieve for former Isiolo women representative as she has managed to sail through this despite her tax queries which are now being investigated by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. With the approval of Gresham Motachi, a nominee for the chairmanships, and former Nyeri Town MP Esther Murugi, former Egerton Vice Chancellor James Story Tech, Reginald Okumu, Hubi Ali Hassan, Alistair Murimi Motugi for the commissioner's position, they now wait for taking of oath. Iron Mwangi, KUTV.